Good afternoon. I welcome you all for today's webinar on on-site autonomous ultrasonic phase array inspection of aircraft composite structure. My name is Janardhan Padiyar. I'm a senior research fellow at Cranfield University. This work has been carried out at Center for Autonomous and Cyber Physical System under School of Aerospace at Cranfield University. Webinar agenda. I'll give a brief introduction of about maintenance and NDT of aircraft structure with respect to current topic. I'll be discussing about development of phased array module, its technical development, inspection trials, and the module integration with Vertex robot. And finally, I'll discuss about key conclusions. Maintenance of aircraft structure. To reduce the weight of the aircraft and improve the fuel efficiency, new aircraft models such as Airbus 350 and Boeing 787 series have greater than 50% of composite material by weight. Composite fuselage skins are highly susceptible to impact damages during service due to foreign object impacts. Impact damages can be visible or barely visible. As you can see on the first schematic, the subsurface damage is much larger than the surface damage. And hence, NDT inspection are required during maintenance and for continued airworthiness of the aircraft. NDT of composite aircraft structure. Aircraft maintenance involves different maintenance activities. Ultrasound non distributive testing is one of the important maintenance activity. Single element ultrasonic transducer and multi element ultrasonic transducer, also called as phased array transducer, is used for detection and sizing of damages on aircraft. Furthermore, about 35% of all NDT inspection tasks in composite aircrafts is by ultrasonic NDT. Manual aircraft NDT inspections are repetitive and slower for large surface. The cost of scheduled maintenance of aircraft is very expensive to airline industry. So is the cost of unscheduled maintenance. However, fully automated and autonomous NDT solutions are not available for composite aircraft and this is the key motivation for automation. Phased array ultrasonic non distributive testing is an advanced NDT method. Phased array transducer consists of large number of small PZT elements, usually 64 elements. A group of multiple PZT elements is electronically activated to generate an ultrasound beam into the material and the reflected ultrasound wave from the material is recorded and followed by a sequential progress of activation and switching the active group across all the elements. This electronic activation and switching of elements is called as electronic scanning. Mechanical scanning is performed by physically moving the phase rate transducer across the material. All echo signals received are further processed in real time in order to obtain a volumetric image of the material. Hence, PANDT is faster method of inspection due to reduced mechanical movement compared to traditional ultrasonic testing. Objective to develop and integrate a phased array ultrasonic module for inspection of thin walled aircraft composite structure, meeting the constraints set by the Vortex robot on payload and very low water couplet usage. A pragmatic approach was taken in development of the phased array module based on prior studies and current state of art in oil and gas industry. Our solution, the PM module consists of development and customization of hardware components such as elastomer wedge, positioning fixture, couplet delivery pump, 
PA transducer encoder and PA hard hardware selection. Development of phase array module. Aircraft fuselage surface is predominantly thin walled, 1 to 3 mm in thickness, and hence near surface resolution is critical while selecting PA transducer and wedge. Based on empirical rules of transducer array design, array beam model simulation, and near surface resolution, a 10 MHz PA transducer with 0.6 mm as pitch is selected. Aircraft fuselage surface has a curvature and the wedge has to conform to the fuselage surface. PA transducer must always be normal to the surface for efficient ultrasound transmission and reception. Hence, a spring-loaded gimbaled probe holder which maintains normal incidence of the wedge and consistent contact with the surface is selected. The CAD schematic shows the transducer positioning fixture carrying the PA transducer wedge and encoder assembly. Development of the PA module. The current state of art PA solutions for manual composite material inspection was not suitable for automation with vertex robot. The wheel probe is 2 to 3 kilos in weight and is bulky. Furthermore, thin web membrane based wedge requires a film of water and also is sensitive to vibration. Hence, a decision was taken to customize a soft wedge of hydrophilic material. Based on the near field distance and beam spread characteristics of 10 MHz PA transducer and attenuation in the wedge material, the thickness of the wedge was designed. Elastomer wedge can be readily attached and detached from the PA transducer as shown in the second picture. However, it was observed that a force of 750 grams is needed to be applied on the wedge for stable ultrasound signal. Water coupling delivery during scanning. Aircraft fuselage surface is painted smooth with a curvature. Ultrasound does not transmit into the material without water on the surface coupling the wedge surface and the aircraft surface under inspection. Uniform wetting on the surface is essential for stable, repeatable ultrasound echo reflections. If water is sprayed in form of large droplets, water rolls down or drips very easily. However, using water in form of a mist instead of large water droplets, uniform wetting can be achieved with minimum water. This method was adopted here. Water pump was repurposed to deliver high pressure water to a nozzle having 0.1 millimeter diameter. The mist generated is sprayed onto the surface. It was found that stable continuous ultrasound signal is obtained with this method. Inspection trials. The developed PA module was tested for its performance in laboratory on laminate with different embedded material inserts as artificial defects. The depth of the inserts very close to the top surface and close to the bottom surface can be located. Result 1 indicates the comparison of two B scans collected from 10 MHz elastomer wedge and another from 5 MHz wheel probe. The results indicate that the 10 MHz elastomer wedge can detect defects very close to the back surface. Several composite coupons with barely visible impact damages were inspected with PA module and one of the example is shown in the second picture. Impact damage results in form of time of flight C scans 
are shown in results too. It is seen that both 10 megahertz elastomer wedge and the commercial transducer that is the 5 megahertz wheel probe approximately show the same subsurface damage area indicating the performance of the PA module. Post processing routines were programmed for improved 2D and 3D visualization. The PA hardware captures full waveform A-scan data. This can be pre and post processed using the developed routines. Due to non-uniform pressure and surface undulations, the arrival time of echo signals of few of A-scans can be delayed. This delay can be compensated by alignment as shown in the first schematic where all A scans are temporarily shifted and aligned to the same zero point of the start of the front surface echo. Furthermore, post-processing features like slicing of volumetric data and 3D visualization can also be performed. PA module integration with Vortex robot. The doublet PA module is mechanically attached to the front side of the Vortex robot as shown in the first picture. The mist delivery nozzle is enclosed in a conical shroud is also assembled with the robot which is shown in the second picture. The PA hardware data acquisition and coupling pump switch, and switch on and off can be controlled autonomously by Vortex robot through a communication controller which is shown in the third picture. NDT inspection plan has seen from the previous webinar infrared thermography imaging is a non-contact full field imaging method and hence it is good for quick screening of impact damages and its location. However, the current IRT imaging method adopted does not always give the exact shape and depth information compared to ultrasonic phased array imaging. Hence, a two-step NDT inspection plan was proposed as shown in the schematic, wherein the first step, automated IRT imaging is carried out by Vortex robot on full area of inspection to locate all the impact damages and its coordinates. In the second step, high-resolution automated PA imaging is carried out by PA module mounted on Vertex robot only near the damaged area. Hence, this scan plan reduces the time needed for inspection of large areas such as aircraft fuselage. The automation of two complementary NDT techniques has a potential to reduce the cost of inspection and maintenance. Inspection trials. The integration of PA module with Vortex robot was evaluated by carrying out inspection on a flat stiffened panel with three barely visible impact damages D1, D2, D3 as shown in the first schematic. Inspection of impact damage at this location is carried out with Vertex robot. Three time of flight C scan images are shown in the second schematic. The impact damages D1 and D3 are clearly seen whereas damages D2 is not visible due to the damage being exactly on the web region of the stiffened structure. Post repair inspection. PA module performance is also assessed on a repaired laminate using an XY manipulator for scanning. It was found that repaired surface needs to be smoothened for proper contact of the wedge with the surface of the laminate. The quality of repair is evaluated based on the C-scan image. Any poor curing of the composite can also be observed with the 3D visualization routines. Coming to conclusions, elastomer wedge design was found suitable for automated and autonomous scanning. Mist coupling delivery ensures uniform coupling distribution with minimum water. 
Vortex robot scanning with PA module is found to give repeatable C scans on flat surface, which can lead to a TRL4 solution. Current work in progress, testing and validation on a representative large fuselage panel is ongoing. Future scope, recent trends in electronic miniaturization can lead to a umbilical cord free PA module vortex robot solution. Thank you for attending the Future Tech Week and my presentation. For further offline discussions, please reach out to me at m.padiar at cranfield.ac.uk.